uh, Bidwell and Boys and some of these gentlemen that were on the King James Translating Committee, Boys was supposed to have had all of the Greek writers, every Greek writer that ever existed in his home. Okay, so if you want to find it out, you know, find out what was said in the Koine or the classical Greek, he would open up Aristophanes, Plato, Aristotle, uh, you know, any of these writers, he would have all of their writings. He had all of their writings. Now, the translators today, and I've talked to some of them, I say, what do you have? And they say, well, we have Thayer's lexicon, or we have Kittle's lexicon. And I said, well, no, what does that have? And of course, I know what it has. What has a sentence? out of Aristophanes. Well, it has a sentence out of Father. I said, well, you know, in other words, you haven't read all the works of Father or Aristophanes to get the context, or you're just believing what this man says. And so these were men that were at that juncture in history where I remember one of the King James translators, his, his mother it said she spoke Greek uh, enough to make the Grecians blush. You know, I mean, my mother didn't speak Greek, you know. And so it's like these people were, were raised in a completely different culture. A man was uh, talking to me at a Bible conference. He was a professor of Greek at a, a seminary, and he was a very, very kind man, uh, very honest. And he leaned over and he said to me, he said, you know, he said he didn't really know Greek. He was sort of faking it. He said, you know, we're the uh, Gilligan's Island generation. Let's be honest. And I said, I know we are. That's why we need to leave the Bible alone. <laughs>